was the wrong one? There we go. Whoop. Tell me I didn't just crash it. Well, hopefully I didn't just crash it. I didn't just crash. Aha, we did not crash. Okay. All right, so a little bit, a little bit different today. Um, I don't know. I felt like uh, I've I've had the F eighteen in DCS World for a while. I bought it on sale a long time ago, and I've just never, I've literally like never learned how to fly it. Um, I wish I wouldn't do that. Um, I like never learned how to fly it. Um, I, I. This like before I even got into flight simming, I bought this plane because I was like, yo, I'm gonna get into military flight simming. I didn't even know how to fly a plane. Like I didn't know anything about planes yet when I bought it. Um, so the issue was that I had no idea what I was doing with a plane in general. And then I was trying to learn how to fly a plane and fight in one. It wasn't working. We're still learning how to do things. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to uh, just do, you know, an hour or two of goofing around in an F-18. Um, I'm pretty sure we can add some targets to destroy in and stuff like that. Let's see if I can do that. Um, oops. So, yeah, so some of the, like, some of the sandbox missions I was looking at, like, it wouldn't let me arm my aircraft like I wanted to. It was just it was like, here's your, here's your armaments. And I was like, I didn't want to do that. And I'm still trying to learn how to fly everything. Hey Corvo, this is new. You're right. Um, so what is our livery? Can we do something cool? What does that look like? Request rearming. Copy. Yeah, I don't know what I just did. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of loadouts you can do. I kind of like to do, um, just do my own way and I've, I've been I've been starting I, I was reading a bunch of tutorials and they said the best way to learn how to fly the plane and get familiar with the systems is to fly in sandbox and learn how to bomb things especially with an f-18 that can do air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground that's why I bought it um, way back when there I was like what should I buy because I was like oh I should buy an f-22 or I should buy an f you know an f-16 would be cool and everyone was like no you should buy an f-18 if you want to learn how to fly in the simulator because you can do air to air pretty well. You can do air to ground pretty well. It's not an A10 and it's not an F22. So, it, you know, those are the two extremes. The A10 is the best ground attack. The F22 is like one of the best air to air dogfighters. And I was like, I don't really want to learn how to dogfight. I don't want to commit myself to the A10 and never know how to do it. So, long story short, picked up the F18, tried it for about 20 minutes, didn't know how to play it, and. Uh, just immediately stopped playing for like a year. So um, I've been getting right back into it. Um, let's see if we can do some bombs here. So let's see. I want to do some laser guided bombs. We'll do two of these. Yeah. I'm just going to go bomb some bridges. So we want the G. What did I just put on there? GBU 12, 500 pound bombs. Um, and it's weird. You can only, I mean, it makes total sense. I don't know why I'd say it's weird, but it's, um, you can only put bombs on certain racks or hard points, I guess they're called. So these are for AA missiles. Nine and one are the wingtips. And obviously those are only missiles as well. I don't know what this pod does actually. Um, this was like smoke. So there's there's nothing on the ground to shoot at us. Um, you know we're, we're pretty close to max weight here, but we, we'll max out our fuel, which goes really quick. By the way, I don't think I ever realized how fast you can run out of fuel in, in a jet. Like it it goes incredibly quick. Did I just cancel it? Come on, put my missiles on. I 
just nope there we go so yeah it takes some time to do things in this game which is kind of cool it's like a real life simulator Mar Marjada Corin. Uh, I don't know what that says, but hello. If that's hello in another language, then hello. Rearming complete. Rearming complete. Cool. So let's get back into the cockpit here. Let's close the door up. Um, I'm at a big disadvantage in this simulator because everyone is saying you have to have a, like, you don't have to, but you should have a head tracker. And I just, I'm not buying one. Um, I could buy one. It wouldn't be that, you know, it's only like 150 bucks, but I was just like, no. So let's get the APU spooled up. That's what this is, just like a regular plane. Um, so we're green. Let's flip on our right engine. So the right engine controls, it's weird. So the APU is just a starter. You can't actually turn any systems on until you get um, your engines going. So as soon as I flip on the right engine here, you see I, I bumped that from like, off to idle you see how there's our engine rpms down here by the way um they're flying up the stable is around 330 so let's get our panel brightness up um and we'll initialize some stuff so you can't actually turn any systems on until you've got the um right engine started because the right engine is what controls your uh, like all your instruments and your electronics, that's what gives it power. Which I think is kind of interesting. So we'll do that. We'll stabilize our heading here. Um, let's turn on our HUD. We're going to want that. Let's turn on our identified friend foe if I can, please. And our ILS. Turn that on. Um, we'll get over to... Oh, we'll do that. Over here, I like to put on my uh, weapon systems. Down here is the map. I need to figure out how to display uh, waypoints. Um, let's see. Mode. Map. I don't know. There's a way to get your actual, like, a mission flight plan. It'll give you, like, kind of like a, you know, like a commercial jet. You'll have waypoints to fly. Um, so let's get our right engine started while we're sitting around here. So here's our fuel, by the way. We have uh, uh, 10,720 pounds. So our bingo is halfway. That's basically like, it'll basically tell you your, you need your RTB, you need to return to base at half fuel. So you need to set that depending on what your fuel is when you take off. We don't have any... Um, we don't have any fuel canisters set. Um, we can set some. Uh, we can set them next to the center pylon there, where I kind of that torpedo-looking thing is actually how we're going to uh, guide these laser bombs in. Um, but you can set up some external fuel tanks. You're from Finland. Hello. How are you doing? It's pretty late over in Finland. Thanks for joining us. All right, let's get our other engine started up here. Um, so let's get this over to IFA. Uh, I can't remember. Let's see, we're going to be bombing from like 20,000 feet. So we'll go up here. So that's where you're supposed to bomb from. Uh, Um, let's see. I can't click that. So I'm going to get, um, actually we're ready to go. I think, uh, we're just idling down on the ground. Let's turn on our oxygen so we don't die. We got that going. Um, we'll sink our trims here and we'll, oh, I have that full throttle. Let's see. We got full, full everything. Okay. Let's get our, Jesus, there we go, parking brake, get that off, and let's start zipping over to the runway here. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. So, 
uh, the first flight when I actually got this thing booted up and actually fly, or not flying, but like on the ground here, um, I actually hit this plane. Um, I hit this truck with my left wing, and I didn't really think about it, because I was too concerned about getting off the ground. Um, and I took off, and I realized my entire left wing was missing, because I took off and went like this, and just dived out of the way. And I was like, huh, I guess the damage is a lot more realistic than I thought. <laughs> because I did not expect to blow up an entire wing just by hitting a truck at like 10 miles an hour. Mariata, Mariata? Well, it's nice to meet you, Mariata. Nice to meet you. We are just goofing around, bombing some, uh, I don't know, we'll bomb like a bridge or something. <laughs> I'm just trying to get, like, the hang of, uh, the weapon systems. Once I've got the weapon systems down, um, I need to start learning countermeasures. Once I've got the countermeasures down, I'll start doing A to A stuff. Um, and then we can start flying actual missions where we have to take off from the carrier. Um, there's just a lot of steps to getting ready to go here. Alright, let's take off the control. afterburner. Control. Just gonna get all of this because we didn't test our flight controls, but I don't care. Um, and you look, if you can see our fuel, it's a really small number. It's going to burn insanely quickly here on takeoff because we're full afterburner. Right, let's get gear up. Let's, turn, let's get our afterburner off. Flaps up. Where's it going? It moved up. It's mad about. Oh, it stopped. Whatever it was. <laughs> it's kind of just how we do things here. It's incredible how fast you... Like, I, I get that it's like a military jet and it's supposed to do this, but it's insane how fast you can climb in a jet. Like... We're already at 6,000 feet. And we took off like maybe 30 seconds ago. We'll throttle back to 50% here. Level off at about, uh, about 9,000 feet, I think. Okay, and we're gonna start getting our weapon systems online before we do anything. So we'll actually come over here first. Um, we'll select our our bombs, and what we have to do is we have to put them on auto mode with an off on the fuse, which means it just blows up on impact. Um, and we have to input a code. This is weird, so we can just do like I don't know one one four two, just like whatever you want to put in there. Oops, so enter that. Okay, so that puts the bomb on this code, and we gotta do this for um, every single uh, bomb here. It's really weird. Basically what, what this does is that um, technically you can launch multiple bombs at multiple different targets if they're getting lasered. Um, you, have the, you have the F-18, it's a great plane great plane i love it um but anyway yeah if you if you have multiple different laser designations and you want to launch all your bombs at different times um you'll actually be able to designate different bombs for different targets so you could launch all your bombs and they could fly off to different targets or missiles or whatever you want to do so while i'm goofing around here let's do our uh, no not that um crap i don't um, there's a way to determine how we drop the bombs, and I can't remember what it is. But let's arm them. We'll do air to ground mode. Let's start sweeping. Um, let's do. Yeah, here we go. The quantity. So let's drop two bombs at a time. Um, I said that. Two bombs times two. So we'll drop four bombs. Do 
twice, I guess. Um, actually, let's just do that once. So what this is going to do is drop two bombs at a time as we bomb stuff. So we're armed here. Let's go down here. we got to turn on our flur. And that won't work, I forgot. Oh, this stupid thing doesn't work sometimes. Um, so let's arm that. And... Oh, I can't remember what I have to do. There's like so many weird... Here, let's pause. There's so many weird ways that you have to arm these bombs. Sometimes it's interesting. I won't let you do it. Um, so we've got our triangle here. That's correct. That's correct. That's right. Let's see. Can I, do I have to turn this on first? So this little radar pod, this is what, if that thing on the front has a camera, that's what I'm trying to, basically I have to unlock it. Now it's over here. Okay, so we got one, one, four, two. Oops. All right, we're getting there. Hello. is how we learn okay so there's our pod just popped out so if we scroll let's see see how it's like way too bright during the day can't see squat so we should be able to control it So that's correct. Now we're just going to get control over our laser designator here. Um, there we go. Aha! We've done it. Alright, it just took me forever. Okay. So here we can change our view. We can zoom in and out. It's really hard to see this stupid thing sometimes. I wish there was like a night mode I could turn on. I'm sure there is. Missing it. This. Yeah, that doesn't help. I just sense the brightness. So that kind of helps. Um, but basically, with the hat here, um, I can control where I want to laser designate. So, where should we go? Um, so 
this map's pretty pretty big as you can see it's pretty stinking huge um let's see is there a way to set some targets up uh arc label I wish there was a way to set up some targets. Like I could just like put a truck down on the ground somewhere, you know? Um, Cause all of these bases are our bases. I can't bomb any of them, which is stupid. Um, let's see, where are we at? So we're here. So let's just go, I don't know. Let's just go over the mountains and see what's over there. Pause here. So one of the things we got to keep an eye on with this um, is our fuel. We already burned 2,000 pounds of fuel. You serve voluntarily as a pilot for the Thin Air Force flying the MiG-115 BIs. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's in the game. I haven't really looked. I might end up bombing a mountain here. The only thing that's kind of difficult is finding where on the ground you're targeting. I think I'm targeting that river over there to the left, but I don't know. Let's zoom in on this place. So if I mark it, right there let's bomb this why not um sorry we back here so if we come flying over at him this way let's get up to twenty thousand feet taking some fuel pods maybe we'll land and pick some up so we can do another mission so see how we're still okay so now it's counting down you see how it's doing that um, basically what's going to happen is it's going to count down and then once we get to five there's going to be a line and I'm going to hold the bomb release button. It's going to automatically drop the bombs at the right spot. Um, actually let's set up, we'll do two bombs twice with an interval of two seconds. So that's going to drop four bombs, two first and then two seconds later the other two. Um, and that should, should be what happens. So let's get level here. Twenty six seconds to target. seconds to target there's that line we're holding bomb release and we've dropped bombs see that there we go there's the other two so now we've got four bombs away so if we go back into the HUD, this will actually give us 10 seconds until the laser is going to fire. Right now, the bombs are just falling by their own. They're just doing their own thing. When the laser fires, they're going to lock onto them. And then um, 10 seconds to impact. So it's firing the laser right now. So we'll look back here. Get the bombs out. in the wrong spot. Did we miss? Did they not explode? 
Hmm. Interesting. I think I was looking in the right spot. I'm pretty sure. Very strange. So that reset our floor here, so we're gonna have to go rearm it. Like that. Um, and then this thing is gonna be weird. It's gonna be in the wrong spot, basically. So let's see. This is the one thing I couldn't realize. So like, when you flip it around like that, Basically, the thing right now is, is looking, it's trying to track where we just flew over. So it's not letting me rotate. Um, everything is on, everything's correct. Let's bring this up just a little bit so I can see what the heck's going on. Supposed to be doing that. This is interesting. Back to wide. Hmm. This is the one thing that I could not figure out is once I've so auto, instant fuse, code's correct. I'm trying to get the, the um, targeting computer to flip back around and it will not move. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to flip this thing back around here. Um, I guess I need to undesignate the target. Would that be it? Undesignated nodes. Oh, okay, that's what we have to do. We have to undesignate the bombs before we can we can do more stuff. Let's find that to Y then. Okay. So if I hit Y, ha ha! Look at that. I'm a freaking genius. So now I got to figure out where the heck that thing is going. Oh, it's pointing straight forward. We are paused. So let's find another target to bomb. This time maybe it'll work. Let's find, let's do this one. This little house right here. So let's zoom in on it. Oop, like that. 
designate that. Pause. Um, zoom out our camera. Jeez. A little, a little close there. The survey rich couple is one of their 50 maids. I don't know if I believe that. Sorry. That's a cool thing if you do. That's just a weird thing. Six seconds to release. One hundred miles an hour at twenty thousand feet. drop? Nope, because I didn't set up their quantity. Uh, okay. You want to drop two bombs. You want to do it twice. Painting, we're painting in three, two, one. Painting. Time to impact. Well, at least they exploded this time. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's disarm here. So we figured out how to fire our our bombs here. Let's turn off our floor. Um, let's get back to our EDI here. Um, I wish I could pull up the map. That's a HUD, we don't want that. Here's our fuel info. Hmm. That's our bombs. Okay, where are we headed? Where's a base? Oh, we're headed right for a base, actually. It's kind of nice. Let's start decreasing our speed here. Um, actually, is there a way I can do... How do I turn on markers? Indicator. Um. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, Trayble label all left shift plus F ten. All labels left shift plus F10. So if we do that, we'll do that. I've got a, I've got one. Who else does? Left shift plus F10. Weird. Here. Let's make sure we're 
still headed towards our bases. Yes, we are. Still got plenty of fuel left. It's nice not hear it over speed all the time, because you know this thing is supposed to do this. to the ground here. Let's just find an air base to land at. Let's see. I wish it would let me label the um, airports here, or the airfields. I don't know how to line up and, and land yet. the runway. <laughs> it's a pretty cool job then. Actually, this one looks a little bit thicker. Got it. Let's get our landing gear down. Three green. We're gonna land so fast. There's no reverse thrust here. <laughs> so uh, we are gonna have to just bleed at speed the old fashioned way. Which is by stalling. Okay, let's get down here. Let's stall just a little bit. Tighten those up. Over the power lines. 200 knots, miles an hour, I guess. We need to do this flare. Very close to the end of this runway. It's just drifting a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That's how we do it. <laughs> get over to the little pad over here. I think it will let us rearm and refuel. If 
we have to go all the way to that to that part up there. I feel like I could park anywhere, but I don't know where, like, the ground crew is. Because I know if you leave, like, the ground crew area, they'll just say unable to refuel. They'll just tell you to, to get out. So, you're going really fast over the ground. Alright, let's get our parking brake on, and let's pull up the current menu, ground crew, can we re the usual? Looks like it. Um, pods, targeting pod. Fuel tank. So, can I put the targeting pod here? and a 330-gallon fuel tank there. So we're gonna be asymmetrical a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, we'll fill up on fuel while we're here. Request refueling. Request rearming. So they should move this, this from one side to the other and then put a uh, fuel tank in the middle. the verdict here. Do they say no? Request refueling. Request rearming. Hmm. Doesn't look like they really care. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. Where's my art? Is there like a menu I can do for this? Hold on. Um, com menu, com menu, com menu. Nope. Oh, do I have to turn the engines off to do that? Let's try that. Um, how do we kill the engines? How do I kill the engines? So 
Ships to end. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, so we'll turn off our freaking engines here. Um, and we'll pop the canopy open. Now it should work. So let's do a fuel tank. We'll switch this over to a targeting pod. We'll do that. Now oh, we should be able to refuel. Request rearming. Hmm. Just puts a damper on things. have to do a different mission all right well um i actually need to do some work in a second so i'm gonna end the stream pretty early here i know it was only like not even an hour but um i'm trying to learn trying to learn the systems and, and how to play the game so i'll probably do a lot of this offline i don't think i'll be playing this too much on stream honestly um unless people want to see it but uh yeah, we're going to be back in Microsoft Flight Simulator tomorrow uh, flying an A320 like normal. So, 